So there's been some talk in the past, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can necessarily speak to this, but it, you know that there'd been talk that as soon as the 2020 presidential election, we could be moving towards uh, an all electronic voting process. And it doesn't seem like we're any closer to that now than we were before. Um, do you think that that will have any sort of bearing on on things in the future? Is that something that's still worth moving towards, or is you know sort of having a paper trail and stuff is that still going to be too important to move this to an all electronic sphere? Do you think? Well, I think the current thinking is uh, for for most of the voting is that uh, you know the air gap systems that they use. What I mean by that is, is it's not connected to any network, um, mm-hmm. so it's a lot more difficult to uh, to hack. Uh, you know, will be around for a while, but I'll. Um, a lot of states have already started allowing mobile voting. Mm, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. For like okay. West Virginia, West Virginia was the first one. Uh, mm. They did it, I think, in the twenty. 20- 16 it might have been the i think it was the midterm elections okay. uh, they allowed absentee voting uh, and mm-hmm. now there's 14 other states that are going to adopt the same um, so i think that that's the precursor of where we're headed uh, and of course if you're going to allow mobile voting you are opening it up for you know um you know the adversaries to get in and potentially change the results of the election you know years ago you and i may not have talked about uh, absentee ballots playing a a role in an election. I think for the right. most part, they were ignored because they didn't really mean any, or they didn't amount to anything. Yeah. But, it was a, a handful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was a handful. Mm-hmm. And, but, but that has changed. Yeah. You know, how many recounts happened uh, during the midterm uh, yep. as a result of absentee ballots and, sure. and the absentee ballots changing the campaign. So, um, so I, I think that, uh, I think it's, it's moving in that direction. You know, I don't know exactly when exactly, you know, when we'll get there, but, right. but, uh, but the, you know, the signs are pointing to a, you know, a different voting uh, mechanism. Do you think there's any sort of like, if, if, you know, obviously, in, in, you know, the will to do it is, is one thing, but do you think uh, that there is a scenario in which we could make mobile voting safe or is it just too inherently unsafe in your opinion? I think we can, uh, you know, there's uh, I mean, you've got to, you've got to protect a few things uh, yep. and um, you know, like the application itself, uh, you know, has to be secure. You have to ensure that the integrity of the device uh, is, is you know, the device is not compromised yep. uh, in any way before you allow anybody to enter their their credentials or their votes. Uh, you know, the banking industry has figured it out. Yeah, uh, right. Exactly. <laughs> so, the, the, the tech is there. It's just. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just getting, it's educating people to understand that they need, you know, some sort of, you know, anti-phishing, anti-malware, Yep. You know, protection from uh, network man in the middle attacks, you know, things of that nature uh, right. on the device. 